Hello guys, how are you doing? Henry here from Success Inspiration Academy and today I'm with Lawrence here. I mean, he's no stranger on this platform and he always comes through and of <laughs> course we'll be discussing Take A Lot. You know, that's what we're doing, man. Welcome, bro. How are you doing? Um, I'm all good. Thank you so much for, for the introduction and definitely I'm no stranger to this platform. Um, I always appreciate you inviting me to come and share knowledge give value back from you know all the entrepreneurial things that we are doing out there awesome man and uh, man i know that you know at last time when you came <laughs> onto this platform when we had an interview you were actually pushing for a hundred thousand rands you know sales revenue per month and yes, man, you just told me today that man <laughs> you have actually breached the 180 uh 180 000 rands per month and you're actually pushing for 200k man congratulations bro. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, you know, everything, anything is possible out there. I think, you know, Take A Lot has become more of a numbers game than anything. So the more products that you have out there, the more opportunity that you get, you know, to reach, you know, those um, revenue values and all that. So, yeah. Awesome, man. And how long have you been doing Take A Lot, bro? I've been doing Take A Lot for about four years now. And um you know, part of it was, you know, for a business that I worked for and then one and a half years for my own personal accounts. So, yeah. Awesome, man. Awesome, guys. So, guys, what we're going to be doing today is that we are discussing some changes that the Competition Commission has ordered take a lot to actually implement. And this these changes have actually have been ordered to other, um, you know, tech companies as well. And, and if Amazon actually comes, when it comes, <laughs> since I know it's going to come. Definitely. And it's on, on its way, it's going to have, have to actually implement the same changes. So other companies like Google as well, you know, your Uber Eats have been ordered to make changes which are which are just going to enable more competition which are going to enable you know the smaller guy you know the smaller seller True. to actually flourish in terms of these platforms so that's so but today we're focusing on take a lot lawrence is the take a lot king <laughs> as i like to call him you know lawrence the digital preneur so we're going to be going into those discussions but before we do that guys you already know that this video is going to be good so i need you to hit that like button let's get this video to five hundred likes man and as you do as well share this video to someone else so bro man these changes are here mm -hmm. so we're just going to discuss them one by one sure no problem so the first one man is is the which i think is it's big and i know most of them are actually significant changes true so the first one is that you know take a lot has been ordered to separate its retail you know business right yes, from 100%. the main marketplace because i'm uh, what also from what i'm getting from that is that take a lot as its own products that's sure, actually yes. selling as a seller mm -hmm. on the marketplace and the competition commission was saying that this actually enables take a lot to have access to sellers data and sure. it ends up preventing other sellers from selling certain products man i mean what's your experience with regards to this sort of you know uh sort of set up i don't know whether you personally or maybe you know you've heard other people going through certain things because of that sort of uh, setup. So, for example, with me personally, I haven't had an, an encounter with Tech A Lot having to prevent me from selling a specific product. But what I do know is that Tech A Lot has its own accounts on Tech A Lot, and you know they do collect you know data from different sellers and all that. So they are able to see okay how much revenue you are doing, and they're also able to see okay um, this specific product is selling very well on this uh, seller's account, and if they are selling you know a similar product or the same exact product, they're able to prevent you from selling that specific product. So this is going to be a really game changer where you know take a lot is no longer being allowed to do something like that because at the end of the day you know you do get small businesses that are just starting out and that's you know one of the specific products that they have so with you being you know limited from selling a specific product you won't be able to make revenue so i think this is going to be better for new sellers and also for sellers that are already being on the platform you know to continue selling you know their desirable uh, products Awesome, 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 man. And I think, you know, a second change uh, is, of course, with regards to the dispute uh, process uh, in terms of the actual days that a dispute should now be resolved. Yes. So in my understanding, like disputes now uh, has to have to be resolved within 
60 days. I think that's an increase from 21 days, isn't yes, it? Yes, 100%. So uh, before take a lot would give you 21 days, you know, to dispute uh, a return, right? So basically how this used to work is a customer will file a return for a product. And once this product has been filed for the return, um, you will then have to, you as a seller, you'll then have to wait for take a lot to package this product. And sometimes, I mean, like once they have packaged the product, you send your courier or you are given, you know, the allocated date to come and fetch the product. By the time you fetch the product and you want to do uh, the dispute and all that, you know, 21 days has already elapsed. So in this sense, it's going to be better for, you know, for sellers so that you're also able to get, you know, enough time to gather information, collect your product as well, and also give uh, a detailed dispute so that you can get some of your money back from, you know, that return product. Wow, man. Hey, returns are such a big thing <laughs> on take a lot. It's True. such a big thing on take a lot. And, and I think, you know, and they're actually saying that if it's not resolved within 60 days, it's actually in favor of the seller. If yes, there's no yes, actual conclusion to it, mm. it deems as if the seller has actually, you know, won that, um, you know, that dispute itself, which, which I think is, yes. is great. Now, which is, which is way better because, I mean, like in some of those, you know, returns, like, you know, if you're given 21 days, Within 21 days, sometimes you're not able to, you know, to collect the product and make sure that, you know, comes back to you and it ends up being disposed at take a lot. So. Sure. All right, man. So the other, you know, change which is there is also with regards to some new entrants. So I think the big thing is that, you know, take a lot has been ordered to actually, you know, make the platform, you know, more conducive, you know, yes. more profitable. Uh, for, you know, historically, you know, disadvantaged, <laughs> you know, businesses, you know, True. smaller businesses as well. And some of the, the big changes which are there is with regards to, you know, the onboarding process itself. They're saying that it has to be, so this is for new accounts, there, yeah, has, to be, there, there has to be like some personalized onboarding. Yes. So depending on uh, what type of a business you are and um, your reason of getting on to take a lot. So I think, you know, I think they're going to be sending questionnaires and all that so that you are able to, you know, to get your own detailed um, onboarding. Because at the beginning, onboarding was just generalized information. So at least, you know, depending on what niche you want to get into, I think they'll be able to do a personalized, uh, what do you call it, onboarding process where, you know, they can tag it. Um, exactly, you know, what you are facing as a business so that, the, you know, you are able to get solutions mm. with you selling on Take A Lot. And, and how important is this onboarding? Uh, basically, you know, the most important part about the onboarding is knowing the platform. And also a lot of people, they skip this onboarding, but there is, you know, nuggets in there. There's rules and regulations for selling on Take A Lot. Some people, they'll be like, oh, okay, why is my account suspended? Your account is suspended because... There is other information that you didn't read through when you're busy doing your onboarding. So there is really good information there for you to be able to run your business successfully on Take A Lot. Awesome, awesome. So another change there is that Take A Lot has been ordered to waiver, you know, the subscription fees on new accounts for the first three months. I mean, how much are these fees, man? And <laughs> is that going to make an impact? Yo, that's definitely going to make an impact. I still remember when I was starting off my account. Um, I remember when I registered it, I registered it, you know, end of, a, uh, end of the year. And then I, only, I was only able to start selling, you know, beginning of uh, another year. So this is going to be much of a game changer because a lot of people that are coming onto this platform, they are not ready in terms of, you know, um, stock in terms of products that they want to sell. So at least, you know, it gives them time for them to be going through the onboarding process, understanding the platform before you can just start selling. So at least, you know, if they waiver, you know, some of these subscriptions for about three months, that gives you enough time as a new seller to start, you know, knowing more information about this. And subscription now, it has gone up. It's about 400 now, and that's excluding VAT. Including VAT is about 460 a month. Wow, man, yo, that's, I mean, you, you need that because I'm sure, you know, people yes. register and you're still trying to, you know, figure out like the platform itself, True. right? They're still figure, figuring out the platform. Guys, man, comment below, man, if, if <laughs> you've got any thoughts with regards to some of the changes that we are actually, you know, we have gone through so far. And I think the other change which is there um, is that they actually have to increase 
you know, the, um, the ad credits, you know, for new yes. uh, entrants, you know, the previously disadvantaged small businesses and the likes, you know, from 1,000 rands to 2,000 rands, man. How much, how, how important is that or how significant is that? So most of the times, I mean, like, you know, when you register on Tech a lot and you have uh, your unique products out there. So sometimes a lot of people, they don't know about your product. So you need to do your sponsored ads and all that. And sometimes you find out that, you know what, um, you are still learning on the platform. You're still figuring it out and you're not so sure how to do, you know, these sponsored ads and all that. So at least, you know, if they increase it you have at least, you know, more, uh, what do you call it, credit that you can play around to understand, you know, how best you can do your sponsored ads so that, you know, your product does get out there and a lot of people can start, you know, knowing about your unique product that you're selling. Wow, man. Oh, that's 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 amazing, man. So so do you think, man, this is the time to jump on Take A Lot? Or is Take A Lot saturated? I know there's a lot of <laughs> excitement with regards to Amazon. So what, is this the time now to jump on Take A Lot? Or is, already, is, it, is it already saturated? Oh, no, I was laughing that you know, it seems as if, you know, almost every month, you know, we're getting stuff from Take A Lot, you know, at True. our house, you know, even exactly. waiting for some stuff right now, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, man, is this the time to jump onto this platform? Um, I say this is the best time to jump onto Take A Lot, and mainly for the reason that, you know, Black Friday is around the corner as well. I mean, like, we're in the eighth month of the year already. And I think a lot of people now, they're getting into their spending mode. A lot of people, they want to buy gifts and all that. So this is one of the best times to jump on to take a lot for you to realize that, okay, you can actually, you know, build a business around selling, you know, your products on the e-commerce platforms. And also, I mean, like, you know, this gives you an opportunity to learn how these, you know, platforms work before you go on to Amazon. At least, you know, learn with something that is local, something that, you know, um, that you can, you know, get a bit of information from before you start going into the big game changes like Amazon. Awesome, 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 man. Guys, man, the time is now. <laughs> and man, I know, man, you also, you know, uh, have some uh, master classes going on. Yes. You know, if people want to learn, if you want to get some coaching with regards to take a lot, man. Uh, how, 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 how has, has that, have you feel, do you feel like people have been helped? You know, what sort of challenges do people normally feel when they want to jump on to take a lot, which are addressed yes. in these master cl classes? So basically, most of the people, they're like, okay, um, I hear that, you know, take a lot is saturated. So what's going to be unique about me? What's going to be unique about, you know, my products that I, I'm going to be selling? A lot of people, they've got no idea where to get products. A lot of people, they've got no idea how the platform works, how to ship your products to the take a lot DC a lot of people, they've got no idea of exactly, you know, how to uh, make a combination of your products and how to differentiate um, from, you know, another seller that's selling a similar product as you. So these are the things that we look into to make sure that, you know, you have your uniqueness of your product in a sense that you are still going to be able to make as much sales as you can with someone else that is selling a similar product from you. Awesome, 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 man. Hey, guys, man, you heard it yourself, man. If you need, you know, to, to you know, to get those classes, man, I'm going to put some links in the description below. And if you enjoy this entrepreneurship content, you know, subscribe to the channel and binge watch all our videos, starting with the one appearing on the screen right now. Have an awesome day, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.